Hello, it is I, the Ninja Critic, the ninja who does reviews at night, and Happy New Year to all of you. Yeah, I know I'm late of the new Happy New Year, but seeing that 2017 ended and here we are with 2018, I just had to get this out of the way. I know it's not helping that I'm not showing any clips, but I just recently watched the film, like about maybe twice, and I have no plans to see it a third time. Today, I am here to do a review and somewhat of a rant on Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Yes, I know what people are going to say. I mean, Ninja Critic, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a great score. Audiences thought it was going to suck, but surprisingly, they ended up enjoying it. People are saying that it's better than the original. Are you among one of those people? No, I'm not. I really did not like this film at all. But there are some positives I, I do have to say about. And I will try my best not to go over the top or bash on this film. Keep in mind, I said I wasn't going to. I said, I will try my best. I can't guarantee any more than that. I, I will say this. This movie is nowhere near as bad as the Emoji movie, or Transformers The Last Night, or Death Note the live action movie, or Resident Evil The Final Chapter, or The Snowman, or The Bye Bye Man, or Wish Upon. It's not as bad as those films, but it's only like about 7% better. I also will admit, the movie wasn't as bad as the trailer. I will give it that. You know how there are films that one person hates but everybody else seems to enjoy? Or in this case, Films that I hate, but everybody else seems to enjoy. This movie is one of them. I am actually with the minority who don't like this film. Now, before I do my negativity, first off, I do have some positive things to say about it, like I said. Second, if you like this film. That is good for you. I am pleased that you enjoyed this film. And I am happy that you said that it was better than the original. I'm not going to make you change your mind. Why? Because I respect your opinion. It's good that you like the movie, but you need to respect my opinion as I say I hate this film. So, before I talk about what I hated, let me get the positives out of the way because believe it or not, there are some good things that I enjoyed about this film. First off, I will not deny Karen Gillan did somewhat of a tolerable job in this movie. In fact, she was the only performance whose character that I actually enjoyed through the film. Jack Bot gave what of a semi-decent performance, but not the whole time. I will also say one thing. The action scenes in this film weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. That doesn't mean that they're good. I think the action scenes are Decent at best. Now, with that being said, what don't I like about this film? Well, before I do that, let me give you the plot. Okay, here's the plot. Four high school students are thrown into detention because common school problem troubles that cause students to get in trouble. I know. But, anyways, four high school students are thrown in trouble. And after they were cleaning out a basement ordered by the principal, they find a video game cartridge called Jumanji. And so, the four play it and they get stuck in the game. 
And believe it or not, this four player game now became a fifth player game. Because there was actually one person before the four who actually got stuck a long time ago. Now, here's the plot of the game. There is an evil guy who was trying to capture a diamond known as the Jaguar's Eye. And the players, the good guys in this case, have to get that Jaguar Jaguar Eye and get and return it to the statue and they have to call out Jumanji. And that's the only way they can escape the game, or beat it in this case. However, there's a twist. Each character only gets three lives. If you lose all of your lives, you die in real life. And the plot was the first problem that I have with the film. This film reminded me a lot of Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase, the Very Odd Parents uh, episode where Timmy's gone in the video game. There were a lot of things that this movie did beforehand, and they have done better. As I mentioned before, that one Fairy Odd Parents episode, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase, and I was gonna come out and say it, Spy Kids 3D Game Over did a better job than this. Yeah, I said it, come at me. And seeing how I am a gamer, I kinda had mixed thoughts about it. On one hand, I was going to hate it because I literally thought this was going to be a slap to the face and a cash-in to the people who enjoyed the original. And on the other hand, I was going to enjoy it because there was another gaming-related movie that I actually enjoyed, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. And I thought I was going to like that film as much as that one. And in case you couldn't tell, I did it. Okay, let me talk about the characters. Dwayne Johnson, I'm sorry, but Dwayne Johnson bored me with his performance. I seriously did not care about his character at all. Every time he's on screen, I just feel like to fall asleep because he seriously bored me with his dialogue. And he was just a flat out boring character in my opinion. And Kevin Hart's, yeah, I did not like Kevin Hart's performance in this. His performance did not live to my expectations. I mean, Kevin Hart, you were in Central Intelligence, which, believe it or not, was a guilty pleasure of mine of 2016. But you were also in Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, another film that you starred in in 2017. Summer 2017. You were in so much great movies, and now you are in this one? Now what about the action scenes? Well, let, I said before that the action scenes were somewhat decent. I should be more accurate. Some of them were decent, others no. Because like Dwayne Johnson's performance, the action scenes bored me to death. I mean, with the exception of the fight with Karen and Gillen's characters, none of the action scenes impressed me. Or not a smile on my face. Karen and Gillen's action scenes were the only ones I liked. Maybe because of her characters and martial arts as well. I'm sorry, but I'm just running out of positive things to say about this film. I mean, what more can I say about it? This is not a, my cup of tea. I mean, I know that ke like reviewers like Matthew Davis Media, Chris Duckman, and Jeremy Johns gave positive reviews about this film. But I'm sorry. I mean, if any of those three are watching my videos, don't get me wrong. I respect your opinion. I can see why you all three love this film, or like it for at the very least. But for me, no. I'm sorry, but I have to go against the majority here. I was not impressed with this film at all. I mean, what else do you want me to say about this? Is this gonna make my my lit? Is this gonna make it on my top ten worst 
The top 15 worst films of 2017? Potentially. I haven't confirmed it yet, but it will potentially be on there. But if it does, I will not put it any higher. Like, I will, try, I will try my best not to put it any higher than the other films I talked about in the beginning. Because like I said, I do feel that this film is better than the seven that I just mentioned, but that's not saying much. I mean, this is a film that people will enjoy, yes, but not everyone's going to enjoy it. Only a few people will enjoy this film. And for people who keep saying, oh, it's better than the original, kudos to you, more power to you. But no, I do think that the original, while it has an age right role, I do feel that the original starring Robin Williams is better than this one. And no, I am not buying that fact of it being a reboot. The trailers were indicating that it was a sequel. Zero Media actually put Jumanji who walking to the jungle, indicating that there's a sequel. I am not kidding. It said Jumanji 2. 2. As in a sequel. 2. Not a reboot, a sequel. 2. And guys, there were much better films that I watched in 2017, even ones that disappointed me. Like, Dark Tower wasn't disappointed, but I thought it was better than this film. Larian and the Thousand Planets, which I thought was the weakest summer movie in terms of disappointment, I thought it was a better film than this one. And there were also films that I enjoyed and thought they were much better. Baby Driver was a better film than this one. Split was a better film. Uh, what else? Coco was a better film. The previous mentioned Captain Underpants was a better film. Cars 3 was a better film, even though that film disappointed me. The remake-ish of It was a better film. Get Out was a better film. War for the Planet of the Apes was a better film. Dunkirk, Wonder Woman, all of those were better films than this one. You know what, guys? Go watch this film if you want to. I mean, if you want to watch this film, go right ahead. Nothing's going to stop you. Don't let me stop you. I respect your opinion if you're going to like it. So you know what? If you want to, go watch this movie if you want to. But keep in mind, this is not going to be a movie that's going to get talked about 10 years from now. So what would I give this as a final score? i give it a 3.5 out of 10 with a side of tears. Performances that did not impress me. Action scenes, or some of them in this case, that were not impressive or not well choreographed. A story that rips off better films from the old one. And just overall, a major disappointment for me. Like I said, I really don't care if Rotten Tomatoes give this a positive score. I don't care if people say it's better than the original. I don't do reviews based on what people think. I do reviews on based off my experience and my opinion of the film. And when I say that my, my opinion is that this film is not my cup of tea and I just flat out hated it, you have to respect it. I have nothing else left to say. I mean... The more that I think about this film, the more pissed off I get. But like I said, if you want to watch this film for your curiosity, go right ahead. Don't let me stop you, but keep in mind, you're not going to love this film forever. Trust me. I'm the Ninja Critic, and I'll see you all with my next review. Word out.